Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and it's about 90 degrees or better under the tent. So it's a hot day and my camera will heat up so I better be in a hurry. So I've got ball chain, I've got my 10 by 20 canvas that dried from yesterday and I don't know if you can see but the blues are incredibly beautiful shimmery blues and uh, whatever that is, <laughs> looks like a piece of dried paint, um, isn't a problem. So I am going to probably put some colors. This is a dish of water to dump my chain in to keep the paint from congealing on it. And um, I'm going to put my chains over to the side. I'm going to grab another one of these. These are chicken salad or potato salad containers from Publix, which you may or may not have, but I'm sure you've got something similar somewhere in some grocery store, as long as you can still find anything in your grocery store. Never mind. <laughs> that's, uh, that's interesting. So, or not as interesting as I'd like it to be right now. So what I'm going to do to start with is try and make some leaves and because I don't really mind whatever happens I'm just going to add some colors for right now and I may do this a bunch of times before I decide to put these colors into that top and I'm thinking that if I loop this around and bring it down that I will make some sort of leaf shape and that's maybe true and maybe not true right yet so we'll see what happens. Um, I'd like to draw the colors out as far as possible because my next intention will be to put flowers in somewhere. So I'm just going to pick places that seem like they could use a leaf to me and I'm not going to put any purple above like I did there and I'm very tempted to use a little bit of lighter lighter green that I don't usually use. It's very similar to the um, color shifting folk art green gold but it's not got any shimmer to it. So whatever these leaves are they're basically just shapes and they'll be showing through from the background of my flowers. So it's not important, it's not that important to me that they be anything specific right now. And while I say that, I'm still experimenting with what I might want for shape. So forgive me for being somewhat confusing. And I am going to use that first chain as long as I can. And I'm going to try not to mind the strange shapes I'm getting, and I'm going to try and be inventive as I go along and experiment with what shapes might work best for me as far as the leaves go. And that might help. Might. I don't want to use up all my time. I really don't want this to be two parts. So why don't I just try once? That looks a little more like a leaf. It's on dry canvas, which makes it interesting. It's, it doesn't pull as easily. That looks a lot more like a leaf. And I can clean up my edges with, my, with a Q-tip. I finally brought Q-tips out. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so I think about six of these leaves would be really good. And I'm still experimenting with what's going to work. Obviously. So I'm laying that up and around. And so long as they're long and thin, they're still going to serve my purposes. I think one more over here. And I'm not going to be as precise. I'm just going to do a little more wing in it and try and open up my creative flow to allow some miracle to happen. Um, so if I go that way, and then I go this way, 
that could work, sort of, kind of. I really think I'd like to dip some colors in there, so I'm going to try that and hope I don't regret it. Because no matter what I put in there, it's going to seem like too much and I can't rescue it. And I kind of want to. I want a much darker green. So I'm going to just dip that whole thing in there. Whole thing meaning chain. And even if they have two points, they're still going to look leaf like. And being that I have that puddle there now, those multicolors, I can dip back in as soon as I want without having to pick up the squeeze bottles. But pretty soon it's going to be time to get on with the flowers. So if I don't like that over there, I can just wipe it away which is okay with me. If I don't like those over there, I can just move them away. Also, I wonder if I can pick up some of this, put it down with my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. And make a better leaf. That looks like a better leaf. <laughs> I don't know why that worked, but I'm not done trying it. I'm going to put it a few more places and maybe I can get this, get this party started. I can put it a little more haphazardly where it might be beneficial. I hope I remember it. We got a bunch of these now. Sometimes a lack of patience doesn't hurt that much because you discover ways of doing things faster. I'm not known for my level of patience. I'm going to wipe off that spatula so I can use it again. I realize that my water dish is missing. And I'm going to grab that chain. Pull it in two dire directions. Do the same thing everywhere. Hopefully. Alright, so I've got some interesting marks. And it's better than nothing. And I think I got just about everything I needed to get. And paint is glopping up pretty quick out here because it's so hot. Oh, I missed one. And I, and I heard you. <laughs> I'm going to make it into two. Or three. I didn't think it was going to be four. But it looks like it's, it is. So that's cool. That's going in the little container. Now comes what I consider the fun part. And I get to put down some white pearl. Some of my magenta pearl. It occurs to me that I did not open this container. It has the wonderful leftover color in it. So I'm going to grab a fat ended skewer. Stir that up for a second and put that right in there. I'm going to rip, wrap this right around. Hold it by the end. Wrap it right around. Pick it up before it goes too far. Try not to leave that in the way. And if I want another one, I can do that. Because there really is enough paint there. So they just they just look like buds. But they're not hurting my feelings any. I do want something to catch my um my yucky chain on. So what else should I do? I should grab a whole bunch of things and put them all down and then try and whip through and and not miss any.
And that is what I'm going to do. It might be a challenge though. <laughs> it really could. Especially when those two, that red and that magenta are, are very similar. But I think I can change that up with some blue. I might want some yellow. I always put a little bit of white because it does tend to pop cells. Also, it's going to help keep me focused on where I'm supposed to be, I think. We'll see. This is my favorite neon from Folk Art. It's a neon purple. I don't think a little extra here and there is going to hurt anything. I still want some more of that blue. I think I need another flower or two. And I want to keep putting that white spot down so I can find my, my place and hope that the puddles will help prevent it from drying out too quickly. And let's start where I'm at. I can switch my chain back in the other direction. These are just stylized sort of buds. And they're nowhere near my, my leaves, so you can tell how stylized they are. Let's see if I can make that nearer my leaf. And you can switch it around. Probably could learn to use less paint doing this. But I don't actually have to because I use GAC 800. Yeah, that one kind of went sideways. I use GAC 800 in all of my paint mixes, which means that it won't crack if it's left heavy. heavy. So this is totally abstract, but I don't think I mind that at all. And if you want to spin it around, this just takes a little bit of practice. And I think I may actually succeed. That being said, I could probably add a whole lot more than I've got. I've wanted to add leaves and do one of these for a while. I love that blue. I think I'd like to split my little puddles in half. And I might want to put stems on afterwards, but I'm really actually I'm totally loving what I've got. I'm also cheating and cleaning off my chain on, the, on another flower. So what have I got? What did I miss? Over here I see it. And a bottle bumping me. So I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and I'm going to try and split that down the middle. Oh, that works well. Let's go in the other direction. Yeah, I like the patterns on that. I'm going to spin this one around. And other than adding probably a few stems or one more flower where here, I don't know, I say that, but then you know me and I've got two minutes and 24 seconds left to, uh, to mess around. in doubt, spiral it out. Works for this as well. I've got a little extra something there I don't care for. So what else? Some of these look like buds and some of them look like they've been opened. Kind of wondering where else to go. I like this over here. I don't really want to change much of it. But I guess I'm going to give myself an opportunity anyway. I know people are always telling me I should clean my chain, but I love the residual colors in there. If they're not muddy, then why fix what? If it ain't, if it's not broken, don't fix it. C 
so I'm getting really close. I might have to add leaves on top of these drag marks from the chain, or I might just say to heck with it and leave it. I'm feeling one more over here. But you can't trust me. <laughs> you really can't. I could change I could totally change my mind. And I could change direction at any given point. And I can just pick my chain up when I decide I'm done with whatever flower is. I think that's probably good enough, truly. I've got a little bit of paint leaked over from my leaves, and they're leaf-like enough, surprisingly. And I think all that's really left at this point is to choose to add, can I, a little something-something where each flower might be connected. And then if I wanted to, I could add stems, or at least just pull those down. I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Yeah, I'm just going to pull those, pull those right down. They don't have to be full stems to give the impression I need. I, uh, I appreciate it when you guys share my videos. Thank you very much. I appreciate it when you um, give me a thumbs up very much. If you want to help me stay on YouTube, you can watch the videos longer. That's the only thing the YouTube algor algorithm responds to. Hopefully you can see all of that. And anything I missed, I'll try and fix after you're gone. But I don't think there's too many things that I've missed. I found one. <laughs> Somebody's mowing the lawn, so it's perfect timing. This is a little different than my others. It's, um, I want to say it's a little more spontaneous, but that's not really what it is. I don't know what it is, but that's not, the, that's not it. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery saying thank you guys for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this, this time. And thank you so much for all the wonderful comments you leave me keep my morale boosted. Yes, I am. I'm adding dots because I love dots. And I can just steal a little paint and it's really not hurting anything. It hasn't gone to complete glop yet, so it's, it's safe for the moment. I know you guys have seen this a bunch of times. Well, some of you have. If I got an extra special puddle over here, I'm just going to spiral it out a little bit. So I'm sure I forgot to tell you all kinds of things, and I do have a crib sheet, and if I read it, it might help. <laughs> I love you guys. There's almost 86,000 of you. Check under the video for uh, my paint pouring recipe, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Also, Teespring clothing with all over print t-shirts and leggings and other things. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link at no added cost to you. It helps me out when you do so. If notifications are off, you might want to check that and see if they're turned on. Please subscribe. Um, only 10,000 out of my 86,000 subscribers are actually getting notifications. So if you aren't getting notifications and you want them, make sure to turn on all notifications and turn on the bell. Thank you very much. I do sell my artwork. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Sooner or later, it'll be safe to go out of the house again. And um, I have two books on that Amazon link. The first one is called Because I Can, and the second one is called Unlimited Possibilities. I love you guys. I hope you keep coming. I have playlists on my channel, over 1,200 videos, organized by the 100 and also by genre. There is a drawing every month. Check on the end screens for the exhibition video that will show you what the prizes are. If you contribute $10 or more, you will automatically be entered. And I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I think there might be a couple of little things that I want to change, but not much. My leaves are a little raggedy and I can fix that. <laughs>